This is Buffalo, New York. Located in the far western portion of New York where Lake Erie empties into the Niagara River, Buffalo is perhaps best known for one thing, snow. Buffalo's famous prolific snowstorms are thanks in part to its aforementioned location on the eastern shores of Lake Erie. This location offers Buffalo the prime spot for intense lake effect snow bands. In the winter, Lake Erie, like the other Great Lakes surrounding it, sees large amounts of cold air blow over it from the west. The waters of the lake in the early winter are still fairly warm, relatively speaking. This warm water evaporates as the cold air passes over it. This warm, moist air then begins to rise up into the atmosphere where it condenses into clouds. The air then gradually moves towards land, where eventually the air cools. As the air cools, these clouds then drop the moisture onto the land. If the air is cold enough, that moisture falls in the form of snow. This effect can be amplified if the wind direction and temperatures are just right. For instance, the warmer the temperature of the lake and the colder the air, the more moisture the air will absorb. If the wind is blowing over more of the lake, that can also result in the air taking in even more moisture. As one could imagine, these setups can lead to a lot of snow falling in a very short period of time. It's not just areas immediately along the shoreline that experiences this effect either. Lake effect snow bands have been documented to travel as far as 100 miles inland. Lake effect snow originating from Lake Erie has been observed in places as far away as Maryland. This can lead to severe effects over a large area. Although lake effect bands are known to travel far, they've also been known to be very thin. It's not uncommon along the shores of the Great Lakes to see as much as a foot difference in snowfall between different cities or even different city blocks. This extreme difference between such small distances makes lake effect snow very hard to forecast, even for experienced and seasoned forecasters. Lake effect snow doesn't just impact the Great Lakes either. Lake effect snow is also often observed along the shores of the Black Sea, the Caspian Sea, the Baltic Sea, the North Sea, and even in other parts of North America such as along the shores of the Great Salt Lake, and along the shores of Lake Winnipeg, Lake Manitoba, and Lake Winnipegosis up north in Canada. Lake effect snow is also often observed in varying degrees at countless other lakes and seas around the world. These regions only see relief from lake effect snow when the lakes they border finally freeze over. Once they do so, moisture from the lake can no longer become snow. This means that the worst months of winter are often free of lake effect snow, at least on bodies of water where the water does freeze. The late fall, early winter, and springtime are when lake effect snow occurs most often, as it is during these months that the conditions are at their prime. Remember, if you ever get caught in a heavy lake effect snow band, drive carefully and with caution. Lake effect snow bands are able to produce snow rates as high as 3 to 5 inches per hour, and often create whiteout conditions. If possible, avoid driving when heavy snow is forecast. See you next time, and like and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you.